welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look back to the PlayStation 4 with Detroit Become Human. During the PlayStation 3 era, I was a big fan of Quantic Dreams games from Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. I loved how they pushed the narrative story as the focal point of the game with more cinematic choose your own adventure. I felt that these were fantastic visually, but not heavy on the gameplay. After I traded in my PlayStation 4, which was a big mistake on my part as I missed out on the best years of the system, I saw the trailer for Detroit Become Human. What really got my attention was the futuristic sci-fi appeal with AI and androids. It was too bad that I never had a chance to experience the game and basically forgot about it until recently with my PlayStation 5. Detroit Become Human was developed by Quantic Dream and released by Sony Interactive Entertainment for the PlayStation 4 in 2018 and Windows PC in 2019. This choose your own adventure is a cinematic story heavy game that is based around three main characters in their own story arcs. The story is probably the best part of the game, as it feels that you are watching a movie as the writing and acting is top notch that keeps you gripped to the screen. You play as Connor, Kara, and Marcus, who each have different storylines. Each chapter explores each character along the way as you progress throughout the game. This will feel like a television TV drama. You will go back and forth from one character to another. There are so many different things that can happen based on the decisions you make throughout the game that will actually really matter in the end with multiple different endings. I played with a mixed experience but still happy the way my playthrough turned out. You can go back and change different choices but the developers make a point that you should play the first playthrough without any changes. I agree but overall after I finished my playthrough I did not feel the need to go back. The gameplay is something that I expected, but became a hindrance between me enjoying the story as what you can do can be very repetitive by doing motions for everything and anything you do. The action sequences do spice it up a bit, but you are looking for the next cinematic, rather than looking to take control of the game. <laughs> There are many plot points to complete and some puzzles that you go through but none of them felt overbearing. The plot points were fun as it expands the story but some puzzles were just busy work to get through especially with Connor as he looks for evidence to help his investigation. The visuals are awesome to see even today. On the PS5 you are playing the PS4 Pro version of the game and looks very detailed with a smooth 30 frames per second. The environments vary and are very well designed with the characters as well. The animation is excellent and you would be hard pressed to find another game with this much attention to detail. Overall, the game introduces you to an amazing world with fantastic characters but is slowed down by its repetitive gameplay. With multiple endings, there are pieces to go back to see a different path that you have chosen and that you can explore. Detroit Become Human gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its immersive cinematic experience with fantastic visuals and story. Taking this game as an incredible experience will have you enjoy your playthrough more, but don't expect anything else along those lines. That's it for this look at Detroit Become Human. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. Damn.